Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss about really important topic for someone who are interested in a field of data analytics by considering all the event of 2023. So without wasting our time, let's start with this video. Now, this year we have seen some big changes in a tech job market. The big tech companies like Google, Apple and Amazon started layoff starting of this year and now this trend spread to the other sector like banking, healthcare and insurance like all other non-tech sector. So it's quite natural to worry about the job security in 2024 or in coming years for aspirant data analysis. So for that, I want to give you a few piece of advice. So please bear with me. Now, number one, don't be afraid of AI. Now, we are all hearing from the people that because of the AI, there won't be much more opportunity for the data analysis, data science and the software engineer in the future. And my opinion is quite contrary. Now, on job, we are all using the AI chatbot and the AI products to improve productivity. And I never heard from anyone that because of this AI tool and AI chatbot, we are replacing or we are laying off this amount of people. No, it's not possible. You cannot replace a human with the AI tool, right? And the layoff that you are seeing right now, it's not because of the AI, but because of the economy. The major economy of the world is not performing very well. And companies are not generating those revenue that they are used to generate in 2022 and 2021. So that's what they are doing layoff. So don't afraid of AI and do not give up on your goal to become a data analyst in 2024. Number two, do not expect a six figure salary in your first job. Now we are seeing in 2021 and 2022 that people just after graduation was getting 100,000, 120,000, $150,000 as a starting salary. And this thing is less likely to happen right now. And the reason is that at that time, the company was generating good amount of money as a revenue. Moreover, the startup was getting good amount of fund. But right now, this thing is not happening at that scale. So it's really less likely to get a six figure salary in your first job. But I still believe the data analyst is still a rewarding career choice. Now, next is find your niche. Now, if you are a student and if you are in university, so during your part time job, just try to get some experience in your area of interest. Try to get some business experience because once you will go out from university and if you have experience in any business uh, or just fundamental knowledge of any business and plus you have a skill in data analysis, then it will create a magic for sure. Uh, your chances to get a job is really high if you have both these things. And if you are someone who are trying to switch to a data analysis, then I will highly recommend that use your past experience as a leverage because AI can write a SQL query and Python code for you, but it won't replace your fundamental business understanding. So here is my last piece of advice. During this time of year, you will find a lot of videos saying that roadmap for data analysis in 2024, what thing you should learn in 2024 to be a data analyst and so on and so on. And I would say that fundamental always remains same. And that is MS Excel, SQL, and any visualization tool like Power BI or Tableau. Recently, I noticed that uh, learning SQL is much more important than learning Python if you want to be a data analyst, because most of the time you're dealing with the data and the SQL is the simplest language to deal with the data. So focus more on SQL. And that is it for this video. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you soon in the next video. Thanks.